the dog days of summer have arrived. So how do we stay stylish and chic when the temperatures are hovering in the 90s Fahrenheit? Well, I have five tips you don't want to miss. It's all coming up next at Style at a Certain Age. Today's video is being sponsored by Upside, but a little bit more about that later in the video. My first tip to beat the heat in style and stay cool as a cucumber and look chic is neutral color tones. So give me all the white and the cream and the khaki and the beige and the navy. And I even throw some black in there sometimes too. So just think beautiful tonal combinations. So just recently on the blog, I just wore a beautiful pair of linen joggers. I threw on a white tee and then it was a little bit, actually it was a little bit chilly that day. So you can forego the lightweight cardigan, but I threw a khaki colored or a camel colored cardigan over the top. So a very neutral tonal color scheme. It just makes me cool down just thinking about it. But I also like to be a little naughty sometimes. So I'll throw in white and navy together, a very nautical look, very chic and always timeless. And if you wanted to put in a little pop of color, you could throw on a pair of red shoes. I always suggest that women should own at least one pair of red shoes. So I want you to just think of the summer neutrals because it is a beautiful way to stay stylish and chic even when the temps are 100 degrees. My next tip to beat the heat in style is timeless patterns. So what do you think of when you think of fall? Plaid? That's right. Well, when summer rolls into town, gingham is one of my favorite all-time patterns that looks absolutely adorable. And they come in a variety of colors. I have a pair of pink gingham pants and I have black and white gingham pants. I have gingham tops. So think about a timeless pattern that you love. Maybe it's polka dots. I mean, what a happy print that is. Recently, I just shared beautiful summer dress from Walmart from the scoop line that was polka dot and a beautiful polka dot top. So just think about those timeless patterns that you love to wear in the summertime. And I'm telling you, you're going to beat the heat in style. Well, we have all been feeling the pinch of inflation, especially at the gas pump, right? I just took a trip to Charleston and when I filled up the tank, I really had sticker shock. So I am partnering today with Upside, which really helps alleviate the pain at the pump and certain other venues like groceries and you may have some restaurants where you can get cash back. Upside is a great little app. So all you have to do is head to the app store and upload that. And then all of a sudden you are going to be hooked into all of these amazing promos that are going on. So I just look at my phone. I look on the app. I'm in Athens, Georgia right now. And boom, it's going to tell me that all the gas stations that are going to give me cash back when I fill up at the pub. Or some of my favorite restaurants are also offering some cash back if I dine at their establishment. To get started, all you have to do is go to your App Store or Google Play, download Upside. You can even use my code STYLE and I have everything linked down below in the description box and you'll save $5 off your first purchase of $10 or more. As I mentioned, it's so easy to use once you have Upside on your phone. So you just go to the app, see what offers that you can claim and then you can claim that and then you have they give you a little time frame as to when you can claim it. You go to the gas station. I love to use it to fill up my tank. I go there and then I just have to go in and pay and then I get cash back that I can use at my leisure. So how easy is that, right? So my third tip for looking elegantly chic and stylish when the temps are sweltering is don't wear anything too revealing. And this really kind of is a no brainer because honestly, who wants to have a bodycon dress on when it's 102 degrees outside. So just keep in mind, we don't wanna have those 
really short shorts. We don't want to have a form-fitting dress. We don't want to have anything that's too revealing. How easy is that? And my fourth tip for beating the heat in style is natural fabrics. And I can already hear the groans about linen because linen is one of those beautiful, breathable fabrics. But just take a look at this beautiful pair of wide leg pants and a very fun shade of blue. And I just threw on a simple sleeveless sweater over the top. And I'm telling you, I could go to lunch with the girls in this outfit or I could even go and have a casual al fresco dinner. So think about natural fibers. Think about natural fabrics that breathe with our body. And that's also silk. Here's a beautiful silk blouse from Banana Republic that I paired with a pair of denim shorts. Again, very casual, but I look put together and polished. Poplin is another wonderful fabric. So linen, cotton, poplin, silk, they all breathe with our bodies and there just is a wonderful selection out there for us to choose from. And my fifth and final tip for beating the heat in style is staying abreast of trends. And we should be doing this any time of year, but we should also pay attention in the summertime because there are going to be some awfully cute shoes that we need to have in our wardrobe that are a little bit trendy. Maybe it's a platform sole or the lug sole. Maybe it's a pair of chic sneakers, or maybe it's those wide leg pants that some of us have a tendency to think that we don't want to wear. But summer might give us that perfect opportunity because there again, it's not going to touch us anywhere. So stay abreast of trends, pick one or two. I always like to say there's an 80-20 rule. So 80% of my wardrobe is made up of the classics and timeless basics and 20% are the trends. So don't neglect the trends, even in the summertime. Well, I hope you found one or two tips that are going to help you be effortlessly chic and cool as a cucumber in those sweltering temps. Of course, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to hit the subscription box before you leave. Leave a comment. I love to hear what you have to say. Other viewers do too. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.